Hello, my name is Nisa, and today we're going to be reading Doug Unplugged by Dan Yaccarino. The reason that I chose this book was because every time I used to read this book when I was younger, by the time I got to the end, I would always have a smile on my face. This is Doug. He's a robot. Each morning, his parents plug him in to fill him up with lots and lots of facts. They love their little robot and want him to be the smartest robot ever. Today, you'll be learning all about the city, said his mom. Happy downloading, said his dad. Doug learned about many city things, but then something caught his eye. It was a pigeon. Doug had learned that pigeons traveled in groups called flocks, but he didn't know they made such a funny cooing sound. He wondered if there were more things he could learn if he went out into the city, so... If you had to predict, what do you think is going to happen next? Doug unplugged. Right away, he learned that if you flew into a flock of pigeons, they scattered. Doug knew that cities were teeming with people, but he discovered that crowded sidewalks made it hard to see where you were going. Doug found the subway. He already knew that subway trains ran underneath the entire city and that kids rode for free. And now he found out that subway trains screeched their way around corners. He could not wait to learn more. Doug knew that skyscrapers had strong steel frames so they could be many stories high, but he was amazed by the view from the top of one. He could see everything. Doug learned many more things about the city, like wet cement feels squishy under your feet, fire engine sirens are loud, some garbage cans are smelly, manholes are dark, pretty flowers grow out of cracks on the sidewalk, taxis stop if you raise your hand, and the cool water in a park fountain feels good on a hot day. Then Doug came across something that wasn't in any of his downloads. Want to play? asked a little boy. Doug didn't know anything about playing, but he was happy to learn. Doug learned how to play hide and seek and a new game called tack. Doug found out that there were all sort of there were all sorts of different ways to play. And that it was nice to have a friend to play with. I don't see my mom or dad, his friend said, sounding scared. Doug remembered a way to get a better view of things, so... Zoom. They flew way up high. There they are, the little boy shouted. When they landed, the little boy ran to his mother and father. Doug thought about his own parents, and suddenly he wanted to tell them everything he had learned today. The best thing he learned was that if you want to show your parents you love them, you should give them a great big hug. And his parents thought he was the smartest robot ever. Did you like the book? What was your favorite part? Did you like the ending? The end.